Hello, my name is Anthony McGee. Um, I'm at Fire Station number seven here in Biloxi. And uh, today, uh, I will be fixing a meal that I put together myself. It's called Jumbo Twist. The guys really like it. Um, I like it. My kids really love it. So um, as this show uh, goes on, you'll see how I put it together. Okay, um, in this recipe, uh, we have boneless chicken thighs which has more flavor. At this time, we will have uh, firefighter Mike Williams uh, prepping the chicken for me by washing it and taking any skin away from the chicken. And as you, as you notice, uh, he also has um, latex gloves on, um, basically uh, keeping his, his um, um, hands clean and, um, and, the, and the meat clean as well. Okay, so sometimes um, there's some fat and, and skin that's left on the chicken, and I like to trim that away. When I, when I started cooking, um, I was about, about 10. And um, my, my influence was my, my mom. She, she would get me in the kitchen and, and um, uh, show me how to fix you know, certain meals. So at that time, I mean, I, I took interest to it. And, and, um, and from, from, from there on, I, I started uh, putting meals together. Basically, what tasted good, you know, I, I, I added, added uh, flavor to them. And, and, and um, if it tasted good, I said, well, I can use this in, in, in another meal, you know, so I started putting different meals to, together and, um, and, and um, I'll come up with a, a very tasty dish. Some of the things, some of the, um, my favorite dishes is um, um, cooking any, any of the peas, red beans, uh, lima beans, uh, field peas, black eyed peas. Um, I love the, the cabbage, the greens, um, any of the meats, um, pork chops, um, chicken, steak, and um, um, I, have, I have a different, different way of preparing my chicken. Now, I, like, I like to saute my chicken first and then put it in the oven and bake it. And, and that really locks in the juices and, and makes it real tender. I have a wife, uh, her name is Jackie. Um, I have um, two kids, my daughter, uh, Leticia, and my son is uh, AJ. And um, they're both grown now, so, so um, one is working and one is in college. Yeah, um, my wife, she's a, uh, she's a pretty good cook, but most of the time the kitchen is mine. That's, that's, that's gonna be my domain. And, and uh, so, so the um, um, majority of the cooking is done by me. I like to cut this chicken up in small pieces. That way when you eat the meal, you get a piece of chicken in every bite. This size right here will cook a little quicker that way you can get to the table sooner. Also, there's a lot of distractions in the firehouse, so you definitely gotta watch your fingers when you're cutting up the chicken. All right, next step, we have the uh, chicken cut up, and it's time to um, put the seasoning on it. And so um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna transfer this meat over to this pan and um, start the process. And, um, don't be afraid to season in your food. Um, some people um, don't put enough seasoning on their meat, but I, I, I love to season my food. I love that, that quality, that, that taste, that seasoning taste. That flavor. I always say um, a good meal is when you sit down and you, and you taste the food, you can taste pretty much all the seasoning that you put into it. And the flavors. At this at this time, uh, I just sprinkled some Dale's uh, seasoning uh, sauce uh, on the chicken, which uh, adds um, a lot of flavor. And uh, I'll, I'll be putting um, um, some Tony Sasher and some um, curry powder and garlic powder on my chicken. And I'm, I'm right now, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, basically massaging the, um, or mixing the, the dills in, in the chicken. And 
Now I'm sprinkling some um, some garlic powder on here. And like I said, don't be don't be afraid to put it on there because as it cooks, it's, it's gonna um, dilute it some, but at the same time season it very well. And this is my Tony Sasha. I love cooking with Tony Sasha. I, mean, I think I think everything that I cook has some Tony Sasha in it. <laughs> Down here on the coast, this Tony Sasha is as important as salt and pepper. And I'm getting ready to put some curry in there also. I love, love curry, love that flavor. Now that I got the seasoning on there, I'm, I'm ready to move over to the skillet and, and, um, and start the um, cooking process for the meat. Okay, we're about to put some olive oil and some butter in this in this skillet and get this show going. As you notice, um, I got uh, um, a stick of butter, which I'm going to use about half, and um, about four ounces of olive oil. I like to cook my chicken on high because it sears the meat and it keeps all those juices inside. Okay, once the, the uh, grease is hot, I'm gonna be putting my chicken in there and I'm also gonna be putting my season blend in there and that'll be cooking all together. Okay, to save some time, I'm gonna use this season blend which has, which has the peppers and onion already chopped up and ready to go. At the fire station, we know all too well about kitchen fire. So don't leave it anything unattended and be safe as you're cooking. Okay, as this, this is coming along very well. So we're gonna get started on sauteing my shrimp and mushrooms and, and boiling the okra. Okay, at this time I'm draining the shrimp, getting ready to saute it. So I'm getting, I'm draining all of the water off of it. All right, I'm, I'm gonna add my butter to the skillet. Making sure this, this, um, this meat is cooking along. And it is. I can smell the aroma already. <laughs> yeah, the guys at the fire station it's starting to get a little bit patient because I, I know they can smell it all through the fire firehouse. Matter of fact, I see a few of them standing up now looking. <laughs> all right, all right. As, as I put this um, butter in here, I'm I'm gonna melt it, and, and then I'll I'll um, um, start to put this, the uh, shrimp in there and season it. I'm gonna add a little bit more dales in here. Like I said, I love that seasoning. Love that flavor. Okay, as I'm as I'm waiting waiting on this um, butter to uh, melt, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some water in my pot so I can start my okra. Up. And, and basically, all I'm doing is. Um, putting the okra in here and, and boiling the okra until it's, it's um, soft. And then once it is, I'll drain the, the water off of it. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of Tony Sasha just for the flavor. I 
again, I use packaged okra because it's a little faster. It saves me some time on getting the meal prepared. Okay, I'm getting ready to put my shrimp in the uh, butter in the skillet. That chicken is smelling good. <laughs> yeah. And also on my shrimp, I like to put a little garlic powder on here for seasoning, flavor. <clears throat> and of course, a little curry. Yeah, with that curry in there, a lot of people don't know what they're tasting, but they know that they like it. You know, normally I cook a lot more at the fire station than, than this, but I think this will probably be enough for me and the camera guy. You know, th this is good old Gulf Coast food right here. I can guarantee you they're not eating this up in Chicago. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put my rice on. I like to use the Nor's um, Mexican rice, it, it, which has um, different blends and seasoning that's already in the, in the rice as well. Yeah, if you use something like this here, the instructions are on the package. Basically says um, uh, one and three quarters cup of water to a pack of rice. Yeah, this meat is it's, it's pretty much done. Man, does it smell good. I use mushrooms, I use the sliced mushrooms and they're already cut up, but I, I like to break them up a little bit more and that way I have more pieces in, in the meal. I'm getting ready to uh, saute my mushrooms. I'm gonna put a little butter and a little olive oil and just a tad bit of um, tony sash. <laughs> Okay, I got my um, mushroom sauteing, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Tony's to it. Oh, one thing, um, I don't own any stock in Tony's, but I love the flavor. I love the way it, it makes my food taste. Now, the nice thing about using this uh, rice recipe is that when the liquid is is gone, you pretty much done. I normally put a lid over it over the um, pot and cut the eye off. I tell you, one good thing about doing the cooking at the fire station, the one cooking don't have to clean the dishes. <laughs> okay, it's, it's time to drain the okra. Once the okra is drained, it goes in the pot with the chicken as well. Now we're also ready to add the shrimp to the okra and chicken. And we'll, and we'll basically cook that for roughly two or three minutes to get a good blend. Okay, um, I like a little bit of cornbread with my jumbo twist. Uh, a lot of people are passionate about their cornbread, but um, the, the Jiffy Mix, uh, I find it to be very tasty, very tasty and easy to make. And um, I use some cooking oil, which basically um, uh, coats the bottom of the skillet. I'm gonna be using um, three boxes of cornbread today. Get my cornbread all poured up. I also like to use a little bit of mayonnaise in my cornbread. It improves the texture 
and increases the flavor. Of course, you got your eggs. I'll be adding my milk, which is called for milk. And the reason I like to use Jiffy, it's a simple process. I mean, pretty much all of the ingredients are in the cornbread. Okay, now I'm ready to put it in the oven. I'm gonna bake it on 400 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. The rice is done and it's ready to be mixed in with the other chicken, shrimp, okra. Okay, once you have everything together, you pretty much just uh, stir, it, stir it up and um, mix it well. As you can see, this meal is pretty quick and roughly can be done within an hour's time. And the, the big thing about this is that you can feed a lot of people with it. Okay, I, I just take the um, cornbread out. I'm getting ready to put a little butter on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna put a little cornbread on the plate. All right, there's a jumbo twist. Okay. Uh, Mike's going to give it a taste. Alright, here we go. There you have it. Jumbo twist. <laughs>